Hello everyone, welcome on back to Alma, Missouri. So first things first, we have all of the popcorn ready to sell. This is what, 53 pallets? What a, what a challenge to get them all loaded up here, I'm not going to lie. Otherwise, we do have uh, the one field to replant that we harvested last time, or finished to harvest last time. Um, the small field, really small sorghum field, is, is ready as well. This should put us well into the millions. I have the pizza to sell as well. I think the pizza will put us... It's like 300,000 for the pizza, so. <laughs> Just like that, that's what, 256,000? So again, we're doing very well. I'll sell the pizza in a little bit. That way we're not just selling a bunch of things. I do want to buy this section of land. We talked about it last time because there is Sugar beets already in here. We also have, I believe it's ready to a field that's ready. Yep. Of uh, sorghum. Which is pretty good timing. I don't know what the price is for the sorghum, but I know it's pretty, usually higher around this time. Yeah, it's pretty good. So we could probably, I don't know if we'd finish him, but I'll uh, have combine. I'll get it started probably in the bigger of the two fields. And I can uh, just have a worker kind of work on it some. I'll probably then maybe have the John Deere come over here with the trailer that's in the yard. It's not the big one for the semi, but it's, it's at least a trailer. So we can actually unload it we do have that field there to spray weeds in as well well I'll just bring over the trailer then I'll have to come back because I do need to get that one field sprayed I did get the uh, precision farming on this now the Azero on it is there a compact? So this that has been added back to this. So far as I know, all the precision farming stuff, when I turned it off, turned it back on, should be squared away again. It should be all good. Yeah, obviously, I mean, we have... We'll have over a million dollars by the end of today because the pizza is about 300000 we have a lot of uh, a lot of money, and I'm still not 100% sure what to spend it on, honestly. It's kind of a, a weird situation. Normally, finding stuff to, to spend money on is, is the easy thing. And like, sure, we have little things that we could upgrade, but... Like, I do think we'll probably get a bigger combine. That's not something that we'll buy right away, though. Doesn't quite make sense to do it right now when we're doing some smaller fields. I'll have to do soil maps in those fields. Um, maybe not in this month. Depends if we got the time, I guess. I do need to get... Uh, the planter going to that field down there. Not 100% sure what we'll put into there, though. Maybe something for chicken food? I think we still have the barley, right? Yes. 70,000 liters. Huh. We do have the grain mill, but maybe I could take some down there, but not all of it. I 
That way we still have some on hand for chicken needs. The chickens won't need that much. They they eat, you know, not even a thousand liters a day. So we bring 50,000 liters down to the grain mill. That's still 20 months easily. Probably more, honestly. I'm not too concerned about them. Like, the sorghum will probably sell off the field. I don't know. I really am considering buying a combine, though. I know I talked about it last time. It does make sense. I mean, for us to continue growing, we will definitely need a larger combine. That's already a fairly large combine, so it's not its not going to be a huge upgrade in the header size, but I think the grain tank would probably be double. 80% full, they must be coming back. Yeah, looks like it. I'm going to just let them fill up. They'll probably be closer to the tra trailer then. and I can easily hop over and get them emptied. Shouldn't take them that long to finish up that field, I wouldn't think. Preferably, if we can, I both of the sorghum fields will be done today. I was just going to say, I, I bet that is just about full. Get over here and get it emptied. Yeah, this won't take very long to do. If it did that whole strip, it'll probably get full at least one more time, and maybe like half full a third. Yeah, I'm gonna go and grab the the planter and get that going too. Then I'll check on the pizza again, kind of see where that is sitting for price. Oh, I was hoping that would empty a little faster. Because that is the next thing to be sold. It is a higher price this month, so. Looks like we'll have a little bit of cleanup work, I see. Kind of expected with, you know, it being this way. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Pizza is twelve fifty right now. It shows it's going down. Apple juice is sitting fairly good. Trying to look at the other things that we're actually gonna sell. We're not gonna sell butter or silage or anything, so um let's see. I think apple juice is next month. Yeah, February. Shows February. Lowered. A new drill was something I was considering too. Just general upgrades. I mean, it's, it's like I said, we have a lot of money, and I don't know what to spend it on. Um, I like le legitimately, I don't know what to spend a lot of it on. We have most of the productions I want to do. Land wise. We're kind of towards the limit, I feel like. Obviously, with a second combine, maybe we can do more land. But it's not a... More land is not the priority. I'd rather make sure that the stuff that we have is going to be in good, good condition first. Make sure we can keep out with it. I just don't want, obviously, a field to be ready to harvest and sit for three months or something. That's not really ideal. 
ideally as soon as it's ready you're in there harvesting it planting it either that month or the next month you know and just continuing the cycle with other fields as well obviously there's times when there's more than one field ready at the same time when you're doing different crops it sometimes just lines up like that I think if there's a harvester brand I haven't used. Um, like Fent, Massey Ferguson, Ideals. I've used those in contracts, that's about it. I'm sure that wouldn't be a bad bet. But I think I've only did it in contracts with those. I'd have to look. I also don't want to spend all of our money either on one combine. It doesn't seem very financially responsible of us to have a million dollars and blow it in one one quick purchase. I'll take a look at all the combines though. I'm kind of leaning towards either like a class or one of the ideal Massey Ferguson Fent ones. Something that we don't normally use. We've used a case for long periods. And we've used obviously John Deere's many times for long periods. I think we've used a uh, new Holland for a very long period too. I think that was uh, in Edgewater. All right, so like obviously, ideally, we could get which one is it? Like this one, twenty almost twenty three thousand liter capacity. That would be that would be nice. Mighty, mighty expensive, though. This wouldn't be bad. Obviously, size-wise, it's not as big. Ooh, almost 25,000 liters. I feel like I've used that in a series at some point. Yeah, the the ideals, I don't... I feel like for the price... I don't know if it's going to make sense. I could go down here and get a class. Yeah, you know, I said I wanted a class, so it would obviously kind of make sense for that. Oh, which one is the largest capacity? That's $455,000. At the same time, I guess the ideals look like they're over 500000 for... The largest grain tank. But maybe these aren't too bad then. This one's a little bit cheaper at 430. Hmm. I might do that at some point. Not right now. Maybe we'll do something like that. We could switch it up then. Obviously we could do the colossal. I mean. Nothing is holding us back from that outside of obviously the unrealistic options. Yeah, maybe a, a nice class makes sense. Something we haven't used that much. Uh, I think mainly just like I think we've leased them before. And uh, one of the one year challenges had it. I'm going to quickly get all the pizza loaded up here. I do want to look. How are we doing for the production for the pizza? I went by it. Yep. We still are getting enough of everything. So that is still running. 
All right, so I got all the pizza loaded up. I did see the combine was nearly full. Oh, this is actually pretty good timing, actually, to get it stopped here. This trailer probably will need to be emptied. Should be able to finish this field on this grain tank, I would imagine. I'm trying to think how big this trailer is. Is it 37,000 liters? Probably enough space then. Ooh, I'm not taking this turn very well. This is going to sell in multiple stages. let everything sell now so that's what 145,000 oh this is sold in another thing <laughs> don't even don't even get me started on how much this is <laughs> so we're officially at 1.3 million well, we are millionaires now. It was going to happen eventually. Yeah, we can basically buy any combine I want. <laughs> Alright, so I'll just get this put into the yard for now. No real reason to get it hooked up to the other trailer or anything. The planting is almost done. Oh, this is 92% full. So I can get this emptied for now. Then I would, uh, I would almost guarantee that an empty one of these will be able to finish it. We will actually have to hook up to the the semi trailer because we'll probably bring it to the selling point with that because there'll be probably one load versus two of course we do still have that field to do as well well I suppose we'll have to do the the rest of this harvest ourselves we can probably do that one ourselves as well. It's not that big of a field. We we will at some point have to go and finish the the planting. You'll get close to finishing that whole field. Obviously, there's the one strip on the opposite side of where it is now, just because it kind of plants in a weird direction. Has to be in a certain line, otherwise it doesn't like it. probably back up and get that piece I think most of this is about one one header wide maybe I maybe I'm wrong too but it looks like mainly one header wide park the trailer up there I didn't think we would uh, fill up on this field. Well, I think I'm going to start a time lapse, so I'll probably do the rest of this field for harvest. And we can probably get into the other field over there and get that finished as well. So I will talk to everyone once the time lapse is done.
just about done in this field here I'll get it unloaded into the trailer and I can probably get it all emptied into the silo and then uh, put into the big trailer along with the semi and I think I can probably have a worker bring it down I do need to finish the harvest with the harvest the planting and in the one field. I really can't wait a month for that, so. And I also can't wait a month to sell this. Because it's going to be far worse price next month. Well, we can check. Alright. Well, I think. It looks like this worker did a really good job, actually. Good to see. Good to see. So honestly, it might just be a strip or two at the that one end. I might, uh, I might be able to just set them off too. <laughs> they might just be able to finish it. Yeah, they did a very, very good job. I am, I'm honestly impressed. Usually they would mess up somewhere, so. Yeah, I'll just have them finish that. And this is now... Yeah, that's all emptied. Probably should get this moved out of the road. can move it to the next field next time. Not sure which field is the next field. Probably one of those two. All these are going to be a minute until those are ready. We can get this dumped into the silo and then... Okay, yep, completed. Figured it wouldn't take that long to do that one strip. But, you know, gives us the ability to get this all situated here. I don't think I really need to look at the... Ah, uh, they... Just when I was saying something good about them. They didn't quite finish it like I wanted, but... I knew this, this a little bit very, very quickly. Then we'll have to hop over to the semi. I'm assuming it's it's the train station. I don't think I really need to check. All right, so that is good. Oh, this did not empty like I thought it would. Possible I'll have to readjust it too if it didn't. Uh, yep, it still didn't. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to readjust that. It is quite a ways off, so 
I'm not sure how it keeps getting so far off, but it, it is. Like, I do hit it when I back up, but that should push it the other way. So that should be all of it. No. Yeah, everything's emptied out of there. Should be around 50,000 liters. Yeah. Well, we'll start heading down to the train station. Get this sold. This put into the silo. Well, no, it's not a silo. The train station would be the correct way. I will get this rented. Oh, 2.2 kilometers away. It's gonna be a little bit of a wait. Oh, there's the train. Here is the train. Well, we can guess where it's going to stop this time. Say right here. It's usually right around the trigger. Just sometimes it's a little bit before, sometimes it's a little bit well, that way. Come on. I was off. I was off a little bit. Just by a little bit. Get the sorghum emptied into there. Then we can take off and get this sold. Yep, there's the, the farm. Eventually we'll have a, a sugar production in there. Which field is it? It's 28, so it's this one coming up. That is the... The sugar beet field. It's not massive, but... It should definitely get us more than enough. So... To easily be able to probably do a little bit of lemonade on the side too, even doesn't take that much to produce a lot of sugar, it seems. Oh, right up here is the... the end. So there should be about $100,000, which is... Of course, you know, we don't really need the money, but I'm not gonna complain too much. Yeah, it's almost dead on. That's one hundred one thousand dollars. So, that is pretty dang close. But yeah, obviously doing very very well now. <laughs> Even better, better than what we were doing financially. So, well, that is about everything for today. So, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.